Now, well, if you think back, like, uh, how, how did your families, tell me a little bit about how your families kind of reacted. How did your family react when they met? My family doesn't even know. His wife is very upset. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. You're not really. We're not married. You're not married to each other, but you're married to someone yeah. else right now. But I'm not. You're shitting me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see the picture of the kids. <laughs> That's all I got. Chris? Chris? That's not it. Uh, Chris? Yo. Is your wife familiar with YouTube? Uh. <laughs> that, that, that's your wife a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Give it up for the wife of kids back in Utah. Yeah. You so, should probably stop filming. She's probably yeah. not here. <laughs> Don't go to DontBreakTheStreet.com. It's going to be a huge black I'm looking bar. for a retirement program. But just for my People, own People, I'm not giving up on the Utah <laughs> idea. We don't want to be responsible for murder uh. keys. <laughs> we are in life insurance as well. Why do they call it Salt Lake City? <laughs> I was just going to say that. I don't know. I but, always wanted to say that. Yeah. That's what you always wanted to say? I did, yeah. I'm I, sorry. I'm sorry. Is that what happens in Harrisburg? Stays in Harrisburg? Well, all right. Now just, just one more quick question for you. How do you... Tell me what it's like to kind of keep this secret thing going on for two years. I mean, it's got to be some more maneuvered on your part because you've got a uh, wife and kids. What do you it's do? It's such a big secret. It's been a secret to me. <laughs> I just found out about it myself. <laughs> ah, okay. I've been advertising to everyone about my love for him, though. Oh, okay. Oh, oh so you guys have been medicine with us. Oh, oh, I didn't see that coming. That's yeah, wonderful. <laughs> we were improvising. Yeah. Oh, snap! Oh, snap! <laughs> well, I think it might give us something to go on anyway. <laughs> Oh. You know, I should base these on the truth, but uh, is there anything that you guys would like to ask these two? Please get off the stage. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was fun. Throw the hook. Yeah. I know, right? Honey, you missed a spot. No, I was talking to my my wife. No, 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 she's fine. No, dude, last night, you know, you can't see what I'm doing over the phone, <laughs> but we... Me too. What? That'd be a lot more helpful if you had a sponge in your hand and you were doing it on this dish. <laughs> if you could see what I was doing. <laughs> but no, dude, like, she did this cool thing that she read about in a book. Like, she did the thing, like, what? What is, what's wrong? Is uh, that, what? Oh, no, nothing. Just the fact that I've asked you repeatedly to rinse the cornflakes out after you eat them, but you don't, and they're stuck on here like cement. So nothing's wrong at all. I don't know, something about cement. Um, <laughs> no, but like she did this weird thing with her, like last, like, I don't know if she tied me up, which is weird because she never does that. <laughs> She's done that to you too? You're, no way. Well, we, we gotta go out on a double date or something. I don't know. <laughs> Dad, I just don't know what... Okay, okay, I can understand you wanting me to be a lawyer, okay? I went to law school, okay, passed the ball. But of all things, a divorce lawyer in a Mormon compound? Don't you think it's a little counteractive there? Actually, I thought you might be able to get a whole lot of business, and it's bar. Passed the bar. <laughs> I knew I lost a point for a reason. <laughs> just, why are you so upset about this? Think about all of the clients that are going to show up. I mean, you'll have six, seven, eight women at a time looking to get divorced. You're going to make a meet. <laughs> but it's all from the same guy. Yeah. I mean, how, you can only alimony so much. Well, I, but he sh he, they, I would say that they should have thought of that before they got married, eight women. But and maybe they have. But that's my salary. I can't just get, like, take 10% of, like, one fifteen thousandth of a salary. Okay, so you don't want to be a divorce lawyer for a bunch of Mormons. Um, maybe if at some point in your life you had suggested that you did want to do something. Ben, we've been brothers for... For all our lives, really. <laughs> and uh, yeah, naturally, that's what happens. I gotta tell you, I'm moving to Utah, and I'm joining that cult, Children of the Third Base. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop me. Steve, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> our lives are here together, man. 
No, we're going to get married in the same church one day. We can go to. We, we can be part of the cult, and we can. We 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 we, we can. Oh wait, wait, you're bringing, you're bringing me into this I now. Hang on, hang on. No. I just. I, I can't understand. Every time you see something in the news uh -huh. or you see something online, you instantly think that you're a part of it. You're not. You're not. Remember that day when we watched that movie about World War II, and you could have sworn you were a Nazi. <laughs> you're not a Nazi. And now you're not part of a cult. You're not. Hey, what's that? Ooh, how about Teletubby? No, no, Steve, 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 Steve. Focus, focus. Did you buy plane tickets yet? Uh, no, but I've got an appointment to shave my head. You're gonna shave your head? And wear a robe and sandals? It's gonna be cool. What do you think you are? One of those Krishna freaks? Everybody. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Divorce Court. <laughs> I'm your host and judge, Sermon. And this week, we'll be filming uh, 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 the divorce of uh, Jane from her husband. <laughs> <laughs> now, I understand that you wanted to address them first. I did. Okay, well then go ahead. Uh, if you could please pay your attention to okay. your wife. Uh, Jebediah, you... <laughs> Jebediah, not Jebediah. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Jebediah. Go number one. Um, I appreciate your efforts in the love making department. However, your choice in music is disappointing. I, I, I thought you liked doing it, the pyramid song. It's <laughs> <laughs> on and on and on and on like her love. Right, no, not entirely. It's depressing and I end up crying. Not good. Jebediah. <laughs> you. Oh. Hi. Jebediah Hi, II. Dear. I'm sorry. Um, I can't stand the way you dress. It's embarrassing. <laughs> this is from the uh, I, Land of PI collection. I'm gonna grow a mustache. I feel the need to constantly defend myself in public, and I don't want to be that type of person. Jebediah III. <laughs> One word, two syllables, hygiene. <laughs> <laughs> it's my natural scent. And you your knew natural that when scent you met me. is like garbage rotting in the hot, hot sun. <laughs> okay. I got nothing. And Jamal? I, 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 Jamal. Jamal. <laughs> what up, baby? Jamal, it's just. <laughs> it's just too much man for me to handle. Oh. Baby, you already done got four men. How can you have too much man to handle? It's just too much man on one man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know what you're saying. Feel me? I feel you. All right. It's cool. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you. Uh, now, the your husbands have prepared a written statement that they've asked me to read their reasons uh, for uh, agreeing with the divorce. Um, collectively, they've simply written down, we know you fake it. Oh, and small <laughs> added word. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess that's it. Fair enough. Okay. You don't want to be a lawyer. Do you want to be a lawyer? But you don't want to be a lawyer for Mormons. <laughs> or you want to be a lawyer for Mormons, but you don't want to go to Utah. It's just, it's just, you know, if you could get married multiple times, like with the first one. Maybe they all make uh, him collectively unhappy. <laughs> It's a possibility. You know, particularly if they're low on tampons, you know? Maybe it goes <laughs> Can you around. imagine the expenses that are coming out of his pocket? It's probably cheaper for him to pay you to divorce all eight of them. You might have something there. I think I do. In fact, I saw something just like it recently on divorce court. Now, <laughs> here, here's, here's an idea. Um, you should head out to Utah. Uh, you should head out to the, um, uh, the, there's a cult out there. Um, the so third, third, third base. base. Third they're base. on CNN. Yes. And I'm sure that many of them are probably married several times. And talk to them, get a feel, figure out what their income is, find out a little bit about them, and then make your decision from there. They're a little closed off. 